Dabs again. That ten-point lead has been whittled down to three. Shane McHale is on for Kevin Kane in the Mayo full back line. Five minutes of the 70 remain. Here's Aidan O'Shea. They badly need a point just to settle it down, Mayo, even though they lead by three. Donald Bohan as they try and keep hold of the ball. Dublin desperate to get it back. That was a foul by Kevin McMenamin. And the free even helps Mayo just at this stage to try and keep hold of the ball, get back that rhythm that served them so well all the way through this match up until, well, the 52nd minute. In the 51st minute, they were leading by 10 after Alan Dillon's point. That was their last point. And Conroy was trying to show the referee that he was being fouled by Keno Sullivan. The referee was having none of it. What's he doing up there? He has it for Mayo, Alan Dillon. Killian O'Connor, and they over-elaborate, and they've been caught a little bit short. Here's McManaman racing forward, he's not out of play. Then he's confronted by Alan Freeman, and foul to another little mini flashpoint. Kieran Kilkenny wants to get on with it for Dublin. Under four minutes to go, and Brogan again! What a save! What a save from David Clark! Here's Paul Flynn, will they get something out of the attack? Flynn punches the air as he's put the ball over the bar. They could have drawn level there, two behind. Okay. Two behind, what a save from Clark, and then what a kick from Flynn. Well, it was a sensational save, the follow-up. The Mayo goalie is absolutely adamant it's wide. It looked fairly good from where I was, I'd have to say. There he is, he's so big, and he gets it with a strong right hand. That falls in the net if he beats the hand. Two points. 55 and 85, Mayo and Dublin drew in All-Ireland semi-finals. Somebody close to me played in one of them. Not the 55 one, am I that? And Dublin have won the ball from the Mayo kick-out. Is there a goal in Dublin? Is there another point in them? What was 10 is now 2. Here's McMenamin, and he ran into traffic, ran into trouble. And Colin Boyle has got the free for Mayo. Higgins, fantastic there in the tackle. Boyle helping him out and the scrambling away from McMenamin, who has certainly added zip to the uh, Dublin attack. No question about that. He's dangerous. He is a game changer. That little bit of X factor, call it what you want. But he has certainly put a bit of pep in their step. This has been some last quarter. Well, you have to. There's you... Kevin McLaughlin, by the way. He's, he's okay. Yeah. He's going to come on wearing number 27. He's important, okay. they need to get him in. For Colin Boyle, who's going to go off. Lots of activity down on the bench. Mayo just trying to eat into that clock. The clock is Dublin's enemy. A score now would sort it. Here comes Gibbons, looking for a goal. It's O'Connor, and he's put it wide. What a miss. What a sensational miss from Killian O'Connor. Reflect back to the Jason Doherty goal chance as well. They could have been dead and buried Dublin, and Mayo could have been on their way to the final, but this is still in the mix. Two minutes to go. Well, it's a shocker of a miss, no doubt. Ball probably should have gone across to the left. I did say things would get a bit squeaky. Bad decision-making. Gibbons coming down the middle. Ball should have gone left in the first instance when it got to O'Connor. He was never going to beat Brooks in, in a standing position. Should have thrown the ball back across the small uh, rectangles. He could someone get on the end of it. But it is so, so tight. Every possession now so crucial. And the decision-making in the last couple of minutes vital now. Mayo's last score in the 16th minute of the second half and listen to the roar around this place as Dublin come forward again with Michael Darren McCauley two points down, Kieran Kilkenny, the 18-year-old back to Kevin McMenamin, the goal scorer from last September he's missed it, you know, he has missed it they've been precise in the last 10-12 minutes very precise, but that's their fifth wide did everything right, Kilkenny drew the extra marker and then dumped the ball back on a nice uh, on the loop as it were and McMenamin I fancied him for us just didn't get a bit of curl on it at a time five minutes yeah I was expecting something pretty pretty much Which around the five yeah, yeah. yeah Clark goes right down the middle Fennell trying to break it down it's with Michael Darren McCauley he's doing brilliant Darren McCauley oh yeah absolutely out in the middle A scream from the Dublin followers or the Mayo followers. <laughs> the Mayo bench, yeah. I think. <laughs> Could be either way, couldn't it?
Killian O'Connor playing almost like a right cornerback. Here's the left cornerback, or supposed to be. Keith Higgins was on that team in 2006 when they came back from the dead. Dublin were close to dead here, trailing by 10. Mayo haven't scored in such a long time. Kevin McLaughlin complete with the bandage in towards Conroy! And Conroy's put it wide. But was he trying to fist it in? Was he he trying to fist? Exactly, yeah. Or did the ball come loose? He tried to get a touch on it. We'll see here in the replay. Great turn. Gets the inside in the back door. Oh, he did. So that's what I'm saying about decision making. Maybe he was trying to fist it over the bar, perhaps. But uh, didn't connect. Another good chance gone. Shamey O'Shea replaces the brother, Aiden. Jason Gibbons. How important is primary possession on big fellas at midfield? That just uh, takes a lot of the momentum out of what Dublin are trying to do with one big fetch in the middle of the field. Alan Freeman, foul. It's Killian O'Connor time. One minute gone of the added, yeah. four to go. This is a crucial, crucial kick now. For them, it's just to, for Mayo, just to eat that clock down. Get yeah. towards the, the 75th minute and beyond. But I don't believe, Dara, they'll be able to defend that lead. Uh, two points is too tight uh, with Dublin when they come at you in Wales where they can generate freeze. That. Wow. That Since is a long time ago. Score, yeah. And Killian O'Connor. Yeah. Well, the battery is dead, isn't it? They need this now to kickstart yeah. it. And uh, he's very good out of the hands from this distance. He's been immaculate all day, I'd say, from this sort of distance. As we've seen. Craig Diaz is going to come on for Eamon Fennell for Dublin. Two points ain't secure. Three isn't secure either, but it's been such a long time since Mayo scored in this All-Ireland semi-final. This has got to go over from Killian O'Connor. All the goal chances they've missed, and he's hit it right out of the sweet spot. It's an absolute corker from Killian O'Connor, and it feels like more than a point for Mayo at this stage of this gripping All-Ireland semi-final. You'd have to say his temperament is unquestionable. He did this in a Connacht uh, final uh, recently, or maybe last year, if memory serves me. And just his ability to kick those pressure points out of the hands, fantastic. Pat Gilroy would take a draw off you right now. McCauley again. McCauley securing the ball, here's Keane O'Sullivan. Mayo with treat, and O'Sullivan goes long, very long, and it Connolly had it and then dropped it, it's come back to Owen O'Gara. O'Gara has McMenamin inside him, he's dragged out of him, and O'Gara didn't see Kevin McMenamin, who was unmarked. But there's a reaction again, Colin Boyle with Owen O'Gara. And the referee now calling Barry Moore and across, and it continues again. Dear McConnelly with Colin Boyle. But that clock still ticking away, and any sort of a delay now, as we've seen, is just perfect from a Mayo point of view. So there's a yellow for Barry Moran. Well, it was a cynical tackle because, again, O'Gara was beginning to break away. They wouldn't let him connect inside. They pulled it down. And Brogan puts over the free. Dublin have outscored Mayo by nine points to one in the last quarter of this All-Ireland quarter-final. Two points between them. 90 seconds, or just under, between Mayo and a place in the All-Ireland final for the first time in six years. This is a crucial possession. Absolutely huge. Right down the middle. Dias or Dias on, and now it's with Barry Moran. And Moran's got the free. What a catch, what a moment for Barry Moran. Is that the winning of the game right there? We're in the 75th minute. Five minutes being added on by referee Joe McQuillan. And they could seal it with another point now. Here come Mayo. It's Jamie O'Shea who puts it over three between them. At worst, they're going to get a draw out of this. At best, it's a place in the showpiece on the 23rd of September. A goal between them, 19-16. It just crept inside the post. The All-Ireland champions back on the rack again. They've got a line ball, though. And would you believe it? Mayo don't have an extra defender back at this stage of the game. I can't believe it. They're one-on-one. -on -one. With the last four uh, Dublin attackers, I think I'd be sending one or two back. It's, it's a mail line ball. <laughs> I don't care, I'd simply send a one or two back. Yeah. <laughs>
The five minutes almost gone. Keen O'Sullivan, their grip on the Sam Maguire is slipping. Is it about to be wrestled out of their hands by the Connacht champions, Mayo? Or is there the goal like there was last September? McMenamin goes through. Mayo in no mood to let him through. They've got it free in. And from this, Dublin have got to try and work a goal to force a replay, to force a draw. Three between them. Mayo did what they had to do. They had to stop McMenamin, and they did just that right here. Well, we spoke about this a few weeks ago. This is uh, not a very nice part of the game when you have a lead and you're protecting this. People will pull you down. The sanction isn't there to stop them doing it. And now there's no goal chance, really. Yeah, and the five minutes are gone. Indeed. So is this going to be the last kick of the game? Will the referee add even more on? Kevin McManaman standing over the free. There's a bit of a flashpoint. That's too strong a description, actually, on the goal line. Alan Dillon now finally moved back. Kevin McManaman. Has to go for goal, hasn't he? Yeah, could he try and get this past the Mayo wall? They've 12 behind the ball. McManaman drills it through, looking for a touch, and it's gone for a 45, is it? The referee is talking to some of the Mayo players. They want to know, is it all over? Five minutes, we were told, will be added on. We're now in the seventh minute of added time, and Dublin have a 45, and they've just got to chip this in and hope they get something from it. I wouldn't even think they'll get to chip it in. I'd say it is the last strike of it. You'd imagine if the referee is sensible, that's what he'd do. He's only inviting controversy if he lets this one float because there's so many bodies in there. Three between them. The All-Ireland champions losing their grip on the trophy and it's dropped down the line and it's over. Keith Higgins has it and Mayo have beaten the All-Ireland champions Dublin and James Horan's team. They will play Donegal. stuttered all year, they did their best to hold on and get back into the game but Mayo hung on, what a gripping final quarter to this All-Ireland semi-final, Pat Gilroy's champions are no more and Mayo will get a crack at Donegal in three weeks time Well, sensational result, very few I'd say outside of this squad would have seen this coming, I include myself in that, a fantastic well, fantastic first half display stuttered a bit then, but uh, when it mattered the hunger, the desire to get into this final, a very novel pairing now. But you'd have to say that Dublin weren't even a, a, a part of last year, that that same hunger and desire wasn't there for them. And in the, in, in the end, the most deserved victory for uh, Mayo. Uh, and in all, in all facets of the game, I'd have to say they, they really dominated. The, OK, they lost their way for a while in the second half, but uh, they were the better team. And that final, well... It'll be a battle of two very hungry teams. Mayo 1951, Donegal 1992. But as you said, a lot of people didn't think that Mayo would have the scoring power to be able to, to knock Dublin out today. And they had that, and they had more than yeah. that. Yeah, they, they certainly have a game plan, and uh, people are sacrificing so much to be part of that game plan. It's huge hunger, huge tempo, and uh, the sort of returns that were got today from the forward line were really sensational. And I suppose I feel a small bit for Andy Moore and if anyone to, this evening they've just qualified for a final and he's out injured, he's going to miss one of the biggest days of his life. But uh, Mayo have said, that, you know, we move on and they certainly have. Well, they did it for Andy Moore and they did it for themselves and Mayo, well, the scramble for tickets starts right here. Mayo into the All-Ireland All -Ireland final. The champions no more. Mayo 19, Dublin 16, Michael.